Hey YouTube, what's going on? Ben here and welcome to the next video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to randomize Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS on Citra. I'm also going to go through and show you some general settings if you're new to rando that you should probably use. So if you like the content, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. Don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so a couple of prerequisites. You're going to need the game, the North American version, because it's the only version that currently works with the rando. And you're going to need the randomizer file. Now, I can't link you to the game, unfortunately, because that's illegal. But what I can do is link you to the randomizer program. So, you'll need that. It's not a program, actually. It's a file for Citra, but you get the idea. So, once you've got the files, put them in a folder that you can access easily. So we're going to remove my game directory quickly, because obviously, you know, I need to add it. So just add the game directory. My stuff is on the desktop. Select it, and boom. Your file should be there if you selected the right directory. Next, you're going to open up the Ocarina of Time 3D randomizer. Now, this will pop up. Now, assuming that you've sorted out your controls, you should be able to just navigate with the D-pad and press A and B to go into a menu and out of a menu. And I'm also going to quickly go through some settings that are good for new players. I still play with quite minimalistic settings because I find it more fun. So, open settings, so set the logic glitchless, RS to open, door of time open, so this opens up door of time, so you, so you, can, so you can become adult at any time. Uh, Zora's fountain is normal, so you need bombs to open it. Uh, Grudo's fortress is open, Rainbow Bridge is vanilla. So when it says Rainbow Bridge is vanilla, it states right here, Rainbow Bridge requires shadow, spirit, medallions, as well as light arrows to open, so you can't access Ganon's castle until then. Uh, I've turned Ganon's trials off, it just speeds things up. And if the trial count to zero. So no trials at all. Uh, world settings, so starting age child. Uh, bomb chews are not in the logic, so you don't need them to complete the game. Uh, bomb chew drops on, so this is one for the 3D randomizer exclusively, where once you've gotten bomb chews, you can actually just get them from cutting grass or breaking rocks. Pretty cool. Uh, Master Quest Dungeons off, unless you're comfortable with Master Quest Dungeons. Uh, shuffle like songs, I set mine to anywhere. Token Sanity off, that will randomize all the gold skulls, no thank you. Sh uh, scrub Shuffle, I do like that on, it just makes it more fun, but I turn it onto affordable so it's cheap. Don't Shuffle Cows, don't Shuffle the Kikiri Sword, Shuffle Ocarinas, don't Shuffle the Weird Egg, don't Shuffle the Grudo Card, and don't Shuffle Magic Beans. Uh, dungeon Items, so I start with Maps and Compasses, uh, Vanilla Small Keys, Vanilla Fortress Keys, Vanilla Boss Keys, and start with Ganon's Boss Key. Again, just speeds things up a bit. Time Saver Settings, so... These are all great. You can skip all of these, which are just a few time savers, like skip the child stealth section, skip tower escape, skip opponent race, skip the Poe scene in Forest Temple, and skip the Temple of Time intro. Just makes things a little bit faster. I also set the uh, big Poe target count to one, so you don't have to collect ten, you collect one. Uh, exclude locations. So this is where you can make certain checks. If you don't like a check, you can just turn them off and make them enforce as junk, so that you don't need to do them. So the only ones I ever set to exclude are um, both fishing. I don't like fishing. Fishing sucks. And uh, the 10 big pose. I do turn that off. So they're not included. But everything else, I do like to include everything else. Uh, detailed logic. I would honestly just, if you're a new player, don't pay any attention to it. It's all glitches or like really, really specific techniques that usually are only done by speedrunners. Don't, I wouldn't pay any attention to it. Miss settings, so you can leave this if you want. It's really not that important. Although if you're a new player, I do recommend generating a spoiler log. Um, that way, if you do get stuck, you can check the spoiler log to see where certain items are. Uh, item pool settings, I leave this as normal. So balanced item pool and ice traps as normal. Uh, item visibility settings, so yeah. So these are actually really cool. So you can make it so that adult can use deco sticks and boomerang and child can use hammer. It doesn't change the logic in any way, but it's cool for, to do checks that you would only be able to do as a adult with the hammer as child, and vice versa with the boomerang. Pretty cool. Uh, cosmetic settings, so you can change like, the color of the silver gauntlets, gold gauntlets, and if you want, you can mirror the world. I don't know why you'd want to mirror the world, but you can change these to whatever you want. I just keep them vanilla. And that's it. You can save your settings as a preset, which is pretty cool. And then all you do is generate rando. So make sure, if you're playing on Citra, you click Citra Emulator, otherwise this will not work. So it's going to do the rando, which does not take long. It's done. So once it's done, you just want to click emulation and stop. 
and then you're going to want to go to uh, File, Open Citra Folder. You want to go to SDMC, uh, Luma, Titles, like this one. And these two files should be here, code.ips and xheader.bin. So you just want to quickly copy these files. And then you want to go to your Ocarina of Time. Right click, open mods location, and paste these in there. And there you go, your game should be randomized. So if it worked successfully, press start, OOT3D randomizer. Now I already have a rando open to test to make sure that the, the, the process did work correctly last time. So let's just go to new game. Let's call ourselves Link, why not? Yep. And this save file we have Shadow Medallion. <coughs> which is actually, which would be pretty cool actually. Because that's one of the two required medallions to open up Ganon's castle. So then you just play the game poorly like I am doing. No you don't. You play it well, but I play like horrible right now. Uh so we just want to go into this house because there's four immediate chests in here we can check to make sure the rando is fully working. Uh, open the chest. Blue rupee. Open the chest. Hylian shield. Definitely not here normally. Uh, open the chest. Blue rupee. Wow, really? <laughs> open the chest. And shard of agony. So there you go. Stuff that's definitely not here normally. And that's how you do the randomizer. It's not difficult. It's not hard. Like I said, I will link the randomizer file in the description below. I'll also link the Discord for OOT3D Randomizer, so if you ever need any help, you can always ask me in the comments, or you can go into the Discord and ask the people in there. They're really nice people, they will help you out, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.